Hey guys, Jacob here. So, I have another puzzle to show you. Um, this puzzle is actually very similar to a puzzle I made um, a while back. Um, the puzzle in this video is the Kilo Tetradecamanx. So, you may remember the Tetradecamanx. I made it a couple months ago. Um, I think around Halloween is when I posted the video. But, um... It's a, it was a face-turning, uh, truncated octahedron, and, uh, however, I, I actually no longer own that one because a, a friend of mine bought it from me, um, but the puzzle in this video is very similar to it. This is the, uh, 2x2 two two equivalent, so the, you may remember the Tetradecaminx had edges, uh, corners, and centers. Um, this one, as you can see, is just the corners. Now, this puzzle looks a little bit weird with the shape of the pieces. Um, that's just because with the geometry of this puzzle, um, even with me uh, curving the cuts inwards like this, um, there's still a lot of exposed space on, uh, on these pieces. So there's a, a giant black star in the middle of each, uh, of each hexagonal face. But I mean, it still looks, uh, it still looks cool, and it's a very fun puzzle to play with. As far as the turning quality goes, it's, could be better, but it's pretty good. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit rattly, and that's because the square faces are kind of loose, even though they're tightened as far down as they can go. Um... As you can see, the square faces turn pretty easily, require very little effort to turn. They just spin. The hexagonal faces um, are a bit more catchy, they take a bit more effort to turn, but they still um, still turn pretty, uh, pretty decently. Now this puzzle is a lot easier to solve than its three-layered counterpart. Um, all you gotta do is, um, kinda solve these, uh, groups of, uh, same color, uh, corners, like these, for example, uh, and they're a lot like, uh, 4 by 4 centers. Until you get to the last layer, there's one algorithm you need to know that swaps two adjacent ones, but, uh, I was able to come up with one. Now... The reason I called this puzzle what I did, the Kilo Tetradecaminx, is because um, it comes from the Megaminx versus Kilominx. So, as you can see, got a Megaminx and a Kilominx. They're both face turning dodecahedron puzzles. The Megaminx, as you can see, has corners as well as the edges and centers, and they all contribute to the solve. The Kilominx, however, has the same mechanism as a Megaminx, but the edges and centers are hidden underneath the corners. So this is just a two by two equivalent of a Megaminx. Likewise, this is the two by two equivalent of the Tetradecaminx. So that's why um that's why I called it the Kilo Tetradecaminx. Um now I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this and do a little, do a quick solve on video to show kind of my process of solving it because it doesn't take that long to solve anyway because it's it's just 24 corners. I'm also doing it to show how the puzzle actually performs uh, during solves can see hexagonal faces work pretty well but are a little bit catchy just because there's more pieces and then the square faces turn effortlessly all right I think that's uh, I think that's scrambled enough so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna solve the white corners so I'm gonna look for two that uh, that match um, Okay, I see white-purple and white-purple, so 
I'm gonna bring them together like that to form a bar. Now I'm gonna find the other two and match them. We got one here and one here. They have yellow in common, so we're going to bring the yellows together and then join it up with these. And now we're gonna find a corner that matches with one of these uh, via this way. Um, okay, I see red, yellow, and red, yellow. So we now know that this group is supposed to be blue because this corner has a blue tile on top. So we have another blue one right here, but it's in the wrong spot. It actually goes right here. Uh, found this one, but it's also in the wrong spot. I'm gonna find the other one. Okay, the other one's right here. So we're gonna move it where it's easier to access, pair it up, and then insert it. So now we have, now we have, we're already a third of the way done with the, with the puzzle. So we're now going to solve this group and we can use uh, these colors uh, as a reference. So I see red purple right here, so we can insert it like that. Now this section is going to be orange. So, um, I see orange red right here, match it up and bring it back. And now to find the other two orange corners. Okay. I see these two have white in common, so we're going to match those up and then insert them like this. And now we're halfway done. So you can see this is a very relatively quick solve. It's just the biggest time consumer is finding the right piece. So now we're gonna solve these, the green centers. And the farther you get into the solve, the easier it is to find pieces because um, there's less places the pieces could be. Now we're down to the last two centers, which are red and yellow. So I see these two are both red, but they're in the wrong spot. So I'm going to do that to match them. And then I'm going to match these up and uh, insert them. And now we're on to the last one. As you can see, we have um, we have two corners that need to swap, and I actually was able to deviate a, a, a cuboid algorithm to swap these, um, but it's been adapted to fit this geometry. So we're gonna do R U R prime U prime. You gotta alternate between R and R prime so it doesn't mess up the third one. So R U, R prime, U prime, R U prime, and then normally it'd be R U prime D, but to do D, we're gonna do an, another R and rotate this one. That's gonna act as D and rotate that back. And then we're gonna do R prime U, R U, R prime and then just fix this layer, and that is how you solve it. So, um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.